Hello guys! Since it is now June, I thought I would take this video to do my May favourites. Now, I don't think I've ever done a favourites video before, so let's see how this goes. First off, I'm going to start with some techie stuff, and that begins with this contraption-y thing. Basically what it is, is a mobile phone top-up charger thing. I found it absolutely brilliant because it holds a whole charge, so it will recharge your phone completely once it's died. Press this button to turn it on, and it flashes up here to tell you how much charge it's got, and then you can plug it into any USB charger or your laptop or whatever to charge this up it's come in handy so much recently so that's been absolutely brilliant next techie thing which is something I've been looking for for a very 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 long time is a car charger that you can use with a USB plug so that means any charge you have whether it's your phone charger iPad charger anything like that you can just plug the USB in there, plug this into the uh, cigarette lighter in the car and you can charge any of your devices which is absolutely fantastic because it means you don't have to spend money on buying loads and loads of different car chargers, you can just use your existing cables and plug this into the car. Next up I bought a new wallet which is this Tweed wallet from Jules. I absolutely love Tweed and I absolutely love Jules and I need a new wallet because my old one was falling apart. It's a bit bulky so it takes up quite a, room, a lot of room in my pocket and I find most of the time I have to put it in my bag because I can't fit it in my pocket but other than that it's been absolutely brilliant. Another thing that I've got this month is a My Waitrose card. I've never really shopped in Waitrose before but a friend of mine told me about the My Waitrose card and it gets you discounts off of loads of different things and also it gets you a free medium sized coffee or cup of tea every single day. You don't even have to buy anything, you can just go in, get a coffee and leave. When I went into Waitrose the other day I did the exact same shop that I would normally do in Tesco's and it was actually cheaper in Waitrose which I could not believe. Next up is a new styling product that I've tried. This was recommended to me by a friend. It's called Fudge Rocker Wax. It holds really well and it doesn't go hard either. It stays really soft and you can rework it throughout the whole day but it doesn't stay sticky throughout the whole day. So yeah, I've been absolutely loving this. It's really, really brilliant. The next thing on my list is books. I've read two books this month which is actually the first two non-fiction books that I have read since I was in primary school, I expect. I've never really understood, and I know this is going to sound really weird, but I've never really understood how you could put a story like a film into a book, how you would write it and have it make sense. It's always confused me when people have said that a film is not as good as the book, even how amazing the film is, but they still say, oh no, the book's better, and I've never really grasped that. I went to see Divergent, uh, I went to the premiere which I vlogged and I'll put that link down in the description below so you can go and take a look if you haven't seen it already. absolutely loved the film so I decided to get the book and read it and it was absolutely fantastic. I can't believe how much I love reading. I thought the film was incredible but the book is so much better I can't even begin to describe it. I absolutely loved it so I definitely definitely recommend this. So as soon as I'd finished Divergent I had heard so much about The Fault in Our Stars and I know the film is coming out in well a couple of days I think so I really really wanted to read it before the film came out and if the film is half as good as the book it will be incredible because I absolutely love this book. I won't tell you guys what happens but it oh, is so sad. I am a real crier anyway. I always always cry at films and stuff and I loved at the end of this but it is absolutely fantastic. It's so funny all the way through. I was constantly laughing out loud and now I cannot wait to go and see the film. Speaking of films, I've been to see two films this month. The first one was Maleficent which is the new film by Disney which is about the evil witch in Sleeping Beauty. It is absolutely nothing like I thought it would be from the trailer. I thought from the trailer it was going to make a really dark, deep, serious fantasy film like really dramatic and intense the whole way through. There are a couple of scenes which are like that, uh, which are really, really, really good, and then the rest of it is is brilliant. It's really, really funny. There's so many one-liners in it. I don't really know who the intended audience is. I don't really know if it's designed for young kids or teenagers or adults, but regardless of what it is or who it's for, I absolutely loved it, and I would definitely recommend going to see it. The other film I watched is the new Tom Cruise film, which I think is called Edge of Tomorrow. I might have that wrong. I think that's right. And Oh my god is it awesome. It's probably one of my favourite films of all time. It's kind of a disaster film, I'll tr I won't give anything away on what actually happens. It's just so creative, the bad guys in it, or alien things, whatever they are, are totally like nothing else you've ever seen. It always really annoys me when the alien invader thing looks really humanised and you think, well it's come from outer space, it should just look like 
bleh, really weird like something you've never seen and in Edge of Tomorrow it absolutely does. I was on the edge of my seat the whole way through and just kept looking over to my mate going Oh my god, this is awesome! And that's it for my May favourites, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!